Good morning and welcome to day one of Bible school. My name is Heather and I will be your teacher this week. So this week we are going to be talking about Jonah. So we want to welcome you to Big Fish Bay. Jonah was a prophet and long ago God used men like Jonah to spread his message to all the people of the world. And so one day the Lord said to Jonah, I have a big job for you. And Jonah, you know, of course, was, okay, Lord, what do you want me to do? Well, he said, I want you to go to a big, important city. And that city is called Nineveh. I want you to tell the people there that I'm going to punish them because of all the wickedness and all the sin that they have done. Nineveh, said Jonah, I don't want to go to Nineveh. Those people are mean and cruel. And in fact, they were Jonah's enemies because they were enemies of his country, Israel. The Ninevites worshipped fake gods. And, the, you know, those were gods that were made up. They didn't worship the true God that, that Jonah had worshipped. And so he did not want to go there. So Jonah, he decided, I'm not going. I'm going the other way. So Jonah tries his best to get away from God's calling on his life and what he was supposed to do. But can you really hide from God? Oh, didn't he know that God is everywhere and he can see everything? But Jonah tried. He ran down to the docks at the harbor and he found a boat that was going far, far away. Far away from Nineveh, that is. And, well, Jonah bought the ticket and he climbed on board. And he got on that ship thinking, I've made it. I'm good to go. He went down into the bottom of the boat. And when he got down to the bottom of the boat, he got real comfortable and he fell asleep. Well, while he was asleep, a big storm came on really fast. And the boat started going back and forth and the waves got real high. And the people on the boat, the men, they were getting scared. They thought, what are we going to do? We're going to die. So they started throwing everything overboard, all their food, all the cargo, everything that they had. They decided, well, we'll just throw it off. We'll just throw it off and make the ship lighter. Well, they finally remembered, guess what? There's a man on this boat. He needs to pray to his God. So they went down into the bottom of the boat, and they were like, wake up, wake up, Jonah. The terrible storm has come here. You've got to pray to your God and beg for us to be rescued. It's our last hope. Well, they come back up on board, and Jonah knew instantly he was the problem. So they cast lots. They kind of drew the straws. He drew the short straw because he was the problem. So he told them, I'm running from God, and it's my fault. He is the maker of the sea and dry land. If you throw me overboard, guess what? That's what's going to that's what's going to make this storm go away. So, the sailors didn't want to throw Jonah overboard. They didn't want him to die, but they went ahead and did it. And they threw Jonah overboard and they prayed, "Oh Lord, please don't punish us for what we're about to do." But they hurled him overboard anyway. And right then and there, he went down into the water. And the storm was, had ceased. And just like that, it stopped. The wind stopped blowing. The water became calm. And they didn't see Jonah anymore. So, what's going to happen to Jonah? Guess what? You'll have to tune in tomorrow to find out what happens to Jonah. But in the meantime, we have a Bible verse for today. And our verse for today is, be ye therefore merciful, as your Father also is merciful. And you know, if you've been in my class before, we've done motions to our verses to help us to remember this, okay? So, we're going to do this. Be ye, we're going to point out, like point to somebody, be ye therefore merciful, kind of hug yourself, you're going to be merciful, as your Father, we're going to point up to point up to heaven, is also merciful. And hug yourself again. That's found in Luke 
636. So let's do that together, okay? Be ye therefore merciful, as your Father is also merciful. That's in Luke 636. So we hope you've enjoyed the lesson today. And we have a, you know, big cliffhanger there. We've, we know Jonah's gotten thrown over the boat. So now we have to come back tomorrow and find out what happens to him. So we'll see you tomorrow.